Hi guys, let me box back for another unboxing. And today, I have a big old box from Tokyo Taku Mode. It's a bunch of kawaii death shit that I ordered. Also, I want to apologize in advance. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> so if I ramble and I don't make sense, and, and I just go into a trance, it's because I, I am very sleep deprived. Hopefully you guys can bear with me. And hopefully I don't chop off my own fingers as I use my big kid scissors. To destroy this box. I already took off the customs thing slip because who needs that? I already fail enough at opening boxes so might as well get that out of the way. Also, I did my nails and didn't wait for them to dry and now I'm doing this unboxing. So there's that. Probably gonna have to redo those later. Oh fuck! This is awkward. I'll just... can I do this? Is this gonna work? I think I knocked the camera. Sorry about that. So, oh, cool, I think this might work. Ooh, 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 shit, look at that. That's pretty. That reminds me of the, the scary fucking bitches from Alice Madness Returns. This is cool. What? Oh, look at this. I've never gotten, ooh, one of these before. I have not seen this. This is cool. The, the newest Kali illustrations by Saki include inside. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute! That is awesome! They just included it for free. That is very pretty. I really like that. That's awesome. And then they give you a little read-up on the artist. And as far as I'm aware, you get a free clear file and or uh, pin with all the Tokyo Taco Mode purchases that you make, which is just so awesome. Tokyo Taco Mode is great. Also, I will leave my friend code in the description so you can get five to ten dollars off of your Tokyo Taco Mode purchase and it gives me Tokyo Taco Mode points too which is awesome because then I can buy, buy, buy more shit like this and do unboxings for you guys <laughs> so there's that in this order I also pre-ordered the Joker Nendoroid and the Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works calendar for 2016 uh, so they're not here yet because they're not coming out until the future, but I just want to let you guys know. God, that was a lot of rambling. I'm sorry. Is everything going to topple out on top of me? Alright, alright. So far so good. I'm not sucking. Alright. Ooh, these are heavy. Um, I'll just start with what's in front of me. I myself may not be very kawaii -des. But I have taken a liking to Kawaii Desuyo shit as of late, so I just kind of had the opportunity to grab a bunch of Kawaii stuff with my Tokyo Taku Mode points, so I, d I went for it. So here is the first thing, it's a Didakuma cup, let me just cut open the shit first. So here is my Didakuma cup, it is super freaking cute, so here you can see the size compared to my hand. Um, it's just plastic, and there you can see on the inside. It's, I love the pastel pink and like the little background for Didakuma. And then we've got like this owl guy, I guess? I'm actually not familiar with him. And then on this side we have Didakuma, uh, Kiroitori, and uh, Koridakuma. And then up here says Didakuma's homemade pie. And there we've got some pie. Oh, that's freaking adorable, I love it. Here's the thing that was so heavy. Uh, it's a little bento set. Well, I don't even know if you can consider it bento. Uh, they're just little uh, storage, like, food containers. <sighs> and uh, I was a little worried that I had overpaid for these because this is about $10. But uh, it's got some weight to it, and it's not just this one container. But this is the largest container, and it's got some really cute patterns, and it's got this nice pale blue on the outside. And then we've also got this one on the inside. And this one's greenish yellow, uh, and it's uh, Chokomaka. I don't know that brand, but uh, I just really liked the uh, the designs on it, especially this one with these cute cats and these like polka dot little designs in the background, which kind of look like washi tape. And I I didn't read this before, but it says Kyomo Ochibitachi wa uh, Genki desu. So 
I think that says, like, today we're all uh, doing well, or something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm very, very rusty on my Japanese. And then here's the next one, and they're getting all, all these smaller, and oh, they're so cute. Uh, so here we have the next level down, and this one is pink, and this one says, a gift full of love and spiced with care. Have you received my warm regards? So these are so cute, and there's even another one down here. And it's lavender, I love lavender, actually, you can probably tell that I love lavender. And this one just says, look, hats. So, super freaking adorable. I, I have no idea where I'm gonna put all this stuff. I have no space. <laughs> I see keto Whoa, all of this stuff is packaged together. So I guess that means I can move this box out of the way. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. I ordered myself a towel, because it's only like, uh, I think it was like seven bucks or something. And it was really, really cute. So I might use this one for like my hair or something because it's not super huge. Ah, I, I, hang on, let me refocus the camera. Okay, let me see if I can get this whole thing in view. Oh, geez. Oh, so this is, this is awkward. Okay, so here you can see it's, uh, shit, what was this called? Oh yeah, it says right here. Durr. It says right here, uh, Tsuki, uh, Sumi, fuck. <laughs> I'm very tired. Uh, su Sumiko Gurashi. So I just started getting into Sumiko Gurashi, which is a Sanex brand, but I think it's really cute, especially this cat here. And I like the polar bear too. I really like this towel, it's super cute. And it's not a bad size. All right, let me refocus my camera. And I'll just start grabbing one by one. Uh, I also got some memo pads and stuff like that. So here's the first one, it's more uh, Sumiko Gurashi. And it folds out like this, but hang on, let me take it out of the package. There we go, all right, so. Here you can see it. Uh, I got, there were like two different designs. I got the house one. So you can see all the little, oh, they're so cute. All of these little illustrations I love. And then the back is the same. Oh no, it's not the same. The illustrations are different. That's even cooler. So you can see all of them here. And then down here we just have the Samix information. But they open up, it folds out like a digipack um, you can see all these, uh, I'm not gonna try to read this Japanese right now. I could probably try to, try to read it later, uh, when I can actually process information, but I, right now, I, I haven't slept in a long time. <laughs> so it has all these little memo pads, uh, and it has all this cute little art. I love these so much. I especially love this one, uh, with all the, like, these little boba balls. They're so freaking cute. And I believe it's 20, 20 pages of each stationery. And there's six stationery, so there should be um, 120 total stationery pages. So here's this one, and this one, and this one. I want a, I want a bookcase like this, that's really cool. And this one, and this one. Oh, that's so cute. And it looks like we've got a page of stickers or something. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but they look really cool and shiny, which is really exciting for me. <laughs> so I'll pull these back up and put that over here. Next, we've got more stationery, or technically memo pads. I was really curious about this one, because uh, it didn't really show any pictures of it put together. But this is supposed to uh, have like a little diorama set in it, so I'm really excited to find that out. Also, it comes with two little character erasers. So uh, we have, I don't know if this is a character or if it's just, just a little sushi guy, um, but we also have this bear one, I think? Actually, it might be a cat, I'm not sure. They're freaking adorable. And the other side is the same. Uh, I don't even want to use these because they're so cute, so I, I might just let them sit. <laughs> and then this is bound in a couple of rubber bands. I'm not sure why, I guess we'll find out. Oh, so cute. So this is the front. It's more Sumiko Gureshi. I got a lot of Sumiko Gureshi stuff. Um, but this one was so, so cute. And this is the paper on the inside. So it's double-sided. So it's blue on this side and red on this side. And it's got a bunch of um, Japanese characters and little sushi stuff. It's all super, they're super, super cute. 
And then on the back, that shows the little diorama uh, setup that you can make. I thought that was such a cute idea, so uh, I wanted to give this a try. So here is the little set that was in it. So here is the little table piece, and that's the wall, I guess. And then here are all the little characters that you can set up. So I'm kind of surprised they're not perforated or anything. I thought you would punch them out, but I guess you have to cut them. So I'll do a video of this. If I don't put it in this uh, unboxing video, I'll make it its, separate, its own separate video, but um, we'll see. On to the next thing. Uh, I've, wanted, I've wanted one of these for so long. Oh, Jesus. And uh, you may think it goes this way, but it doesn't. It goes this way. It's one of those, uh, the pinch straps that have been getting really popular recently. And they've got a whole bunch of them on Tokyo Takumo. They have Rin, Len, uh, Luka, and, uh, and Miku, and I, I, I'm not sure if there's Kaito, but I thought Len was super cute. Uh, and it's, it's the quality that I like. Um, it's not those super bulky ones. It's kind of, it's nice and flat. And then there's all the information. So, since I have my phone over here charging, I'll just plug it in right here. It feels pretty snug, so that's good. And there he is, you can see him hanging down. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. Plus, pre-orders are out right now for the um, Tony versions of Rin and Len, and I really want them, but I can't afford them. All right, next. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about these two. Another thing that's gotten really popular uh, is the, uh, the animal leggings. So they have like a nude print here and then like a cat print. So it looks like um, they're going onto your leg. And I got this version. It's a cat, but it's also got stripes. Um, and I thought they were super cute. A lot of different versions were sold out, but I actually really like this design. So I'm really happy with it. Here's the back if you were interested. I also got a shit ton of stickers and they're all upside down. So first I got some more Sumiko Gudeshi stickers. And there's a whole bunch. I think it's only one sheet though. Yeah, it's just one sheet, which is kind of sad. But uh, there's a lot of stickers on here. And this is so cute. So we have all the stickers here on this clear uh, plastic. But then there's a whole bunch of little plates in the background. And we got like a, a sushi tray and some, some little tables and stuff. And some of these, like this one here, uh, are, have a gold outline instead of just a plain color outline. So I thought that was really a really nice touch. And I'm actually going to use some uh, some stickers to decorate my phone case. So here you can have a look at all the stickers that it comes with. It's a whole bunch. So I'm excited to use some of these. I haven't had stickers in a long time. <laughs> and I also got a whole bunch of Lidakuma stickers. Uh, so this one, they are all pandas, and this one they're all normal. And uh, it comes with some really nice big puffy stickers on each one. Oh, and here is the back, if you wanted to see that. But let's take out the main attraction. Ooh, they feel neat. I can't get them out. God damn it. I'll just take everything out. <laughs> they feel so cool. They feel like, um, like satin. They're really smooth. Kind of like a soft eraser, almost. I'd like to put these on my phone, but I'd be too afraid of them coming off. They, oh my god, I wouldn't want to lose them, they're so cute! So here's Dirakuma and Korirakuma. And here's Dirakuma, Korirakuma, Kiroitori, and Kiroitori, actually it's all of them, and uh, Dirakuma and Korirakuma. These are freaking adorable, I can't deal, I'm gonna die. And then it has a clover background, so that's really cute. And then here's all the stickers that it comes with, which is a whole bunch. I'm loving these! And here is the other Diakuma set. And it, it's all um, just their heads on this one. So we have all the characters, and we have uh, doubles of Diakuma and Kodirakuma, except they have little sleepy faces. And they feel the same as the other ones which is really soft and squishy. And then this is the background on this one. Here are all the stickers that come on this one, which are so friggin' cute. They're all sleepies. Love them. So there's those. I think all we got left are these clear files. Ooh, they're really like thick. They feel good quality. So this one, is Sumiko Gurashi and I, I picked them out because they were really cute and they were only 89 cents each 
So here we have a bunch of rows of uh, probably like a belt sushi restaurant. And the back has a really nice image. I think this is so cute and it looks like really nice quality too. And then you can put your little files and papers and shit in there. And here is the other one. It's just a big sushi tray with all the little characters. <laughs> so cute. And here's the back. Uh, I really like this design. We have all kinds of different sushis on here. That's, ah, so cute. Damn, so here's my haul. Uh, oh, everything in here is so fucking cute. I can't even deal. I will leave my friend code in the description so you can get five to ten dollars off of your Tokyo Taku Mode purchase and it gives me Tokyo Taku Mode points too. I'm really excited to try some of this stuff out like my little really lack of lack of my cup <laughs> and my stickers and my cool new tights. I finally got some uh, so I'm gonna do especially for the winter be wearing those babies right smack on my legs. Plus now I have these lovely memo pads to uh, suit my memo writing needs. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you liked my haul. I sure did. I'm gonna go take a nap and I'm gonna box out. <laughs>